All right, this is Accelerator Josh for doing a re-upload. Uh, the first one didn't come out so well, so this is the second one. What I did was I uh, plastic dipped the rims, obviously, on my vehicle, and I didn't take the rims off. All I did was mask the inside where the discs and the brake calipers are. Uh, not a great idea, but um, it still came out fine. There's a few transparencies here and there, so if you're gonna do your rims, it's always best to take the take the wheels off and then go ahead and spray them. Um, that's, that's the best way to do it. Um, otherwise, you're gonna be looking at very odd angles in order to spray, and like the outside rim here, this little outside edge, it's very easy to get transparencies on that edge um, if you're not careful, so it's always best to take the wheels off. Let me show you the other wheel. Okay, they came out nice, but uh, like I said, you do get a lot of transparencies if you don't take the take the wheels off. So it's best to take the wheels off to avoid those transparencies. Um, let me show you something else that I did also. I also did the, the mirrors. And you can see here there's a little bit of a gap. Now you have to be careful when you're doing something like this because of the fact that this line is so small here now this line is so small the separation so what you want to do is um, before you start peeling it take a razor and go around that entire edge all the way around and then go ahead and start peeling it off but it came out really smooth and the great thing is that because it's the same color as my car you can't really yeah, you can see the difference a little bit but it's all black so it doesn't really matter Another thing that I did was the V8 emblem, okay? Um, I didn't do these parts because when I sprayed them, it didn't come out as smooth looking. Uh, so I just took the plastic dip right off, but I did like the way the V8 came out. It came out nice and smooth, so I left that. And let me show you the other. And here's the other mirror. Looks good, clean, you know. Uh, because it is black, um, you are going to get a lot of uh, little dust particles that come on it, but it's fine. As long as you just clean it up a little bit, you should be fine. You don't have to worry about it. So, yeah, like I said, it comes out really smooth. And the great advantage of Plasti Dip is if your car is black or white, and you get a few you know, scrapes here and there, like on the bumpers, or maybe the fenders, you get them, you know, you get a few scratches, you can just use the Plasti Dip and it'll cover it right off. You know, it'll, it'll cover it up really well. All you gotta do is sand it a little bit and you'll be fine. Like this one. Down here, it's all smooth. But the guy that spray painted this for me, he let the paint run and there was a few like droplets here. All I did was sand it down, clean it, and then I went ahead and sprayed it and there's, no, there's nothing there. It's, it's really smooth. There's, you can't see that there was anything there. So that's not that's one of those advantages that Plasti Dip has, especially if you have a black car or a white car. So uh, yeah, you know, just let me know if you have any questions about the Plasti Dip. I think it works really well. Um, any questions? Just uh, message me, and everything should be okay. So like I said, um, uh, when doing the the rims, take the wheels off, take the rims off, spray it, and then go ahead and put them back on. Just be careful not to uh, scratch any of the surface, you know, otherwise you're going to get it coming off. But uh, it's really easy to do. And like I said, if you have a black car or white car, any scrapes here and there, like front bumper, rear bumper, your wheels, you can just paint them, you know, with the Plasti Dip and you'll be fine. Um, the mirrors, same thing. The reason I decided to go ahead and use the Plasti Dip was because my car is black and this is black, so it comes out really nice. There's a lot of little dust particles here, but eh, it's okay. So uh, leave a comment. Uh, hope you like the video.